and welcome back to another Be Hooked Crochet video. This is going to be a part of my product review series and today I'm going to be discussing with you the crochet light hooks. And these have become very popular on the internet. You've probably seen them on Pinterest and Amazon and eBay, various different places. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. The crochet light hook is made up of a plastic handle and it has a little bit of an elastomer thumb grip which is kind of nice. It helps secure it in your hand a little bit. And it's also made up of a plastic hook. Now this is a little bit bittersweet for me because as you know I'm not a huge fan of plastic hooks. However, this one did really surprise me and I'll talk about that a little bit more later. So let's go ahead and take a look at the handle. As you can see it includes the American Standard sizing which are the letters it also includes the metric sizing which I find very helpful because some patterns will give you the letter size and some of them give you the millimeter size and so this way you're covered both ways. If you turn it over you've got a little bit more information. This is the area where you would change your batteries if you needed to and it also includes a print off of what size batteries this takes. Now when you purchase these it's going to come with the batteries already with one set. And these take three batteries and these are just watch batteries. So I I don't use these hooks a lot so I can't say to the battery life itself but if you have some experience with this please by all means leave your information in the comments and that will be a great help to others who might be investing in this hook itself. Now the first thing you'll notice when you hold this hook in your hand is how incredibly light it is. I guess I was under the impression that it was going to be a little bit heavy because of the light up function but that's definitely not true. It is one of the lighter hooks that I have in my collection. You know it's it's about as light as the Clover Amore hooks that I have. Another thing that you'll notice is that these hooks have a tapered head which as you know I'm a big fan of. I know there is a time and a place for inline hooks but that time and place doesn't exist in my bag of crochet goodies. So I was quite pleased to find out that this does have a tapered head. And the hook itself is shaped exactly the same as any other hook that you're used to. It has a surprisingly smooth surface. Now I said I'm not a huge fan of plastic hooks and that's generally true. You can get plastic hook sets for like really larger sizes like if you're looking for you know sizes greater than a K you will typically find them plastic and they sometimes will not really snag on my yarn but they it, it seems hard for me to work the hook through the stitches and I didn't find that to be true with this hook so I was really pleased with that. That, that definitely took me by surprise. Another thing that you'll notice is this hook is longer than a regular hook especially longer than the Clover Amore hooks which tend to be a little bit shorter anyways but the actual hook length itself is comparable to any other luxury hook you know set on the market but it's actually the handle that's giving you the extra length and depending on what hook you're comparing it to it's about a half inch or so and so that might be something that you like and it might be something that's you know not so great for you So now we're going to talk about the feature that they are most popular for and it's probably the feature that attracted you to the hook and probably to this review and that's the light up function. Now I think this is super cool. It actually illuminates yarn much brighter than I actually thought and so you'll notice on the side you've just got your off and on switch and when you flip that switch it is much brighter than probably my camera can convey to you and it's um, I believe it's an LED lighting and that's why they have to use a plastic hook which I, um, I understand and like I said I, I like the light up function and it doesn't serve a purpose on an everyday basis I find that I don't really need a lot of extra lighting until I'm working on darker yarn. So if I'm working on something black or navy or like a dark brown, this really does help to see the stitches. Even if you have your overhead lights on, you can't always tell exactly where your stitches are and sometimes you find yourself guessing 
and that almost always leads to mistakes. So this is something that I honestly I use this a lot more earlier on in crocheting because I needed to see the stitches. Now more as an advanced crocheter I kind of just know where I need to go but if you're looking for something that to help you out with you know visualizing the stitches or if you're going to be doing some nighttime crocheting this is definitely going to be a good hook for you to have in your collection. So I have this test swatch here that I have been working on and I wanted to show you how well this hook does as far as lighting things up. Now I've purposefully chosen this yarn because it's black and I'm also working against a black desk so you're gonna be able to see how much of a difference this hook makes. Okay and so I'm just doing a simple swatch here but as you can see this is really lighting up all of the stitches so there's there's no guessing at all I know exactly where I need to go and I can just crochet on and not have to worry about missing stitches or putting them in the wrong spot or anything like that one thing I will say about this hook because it is plastic and because their resistance is a little bit different on this in comparison to using a metal or aluminum hook it's noisy and that's something that is um, you know not a huge deal but if you're if you're sitting next to your husband or your significant other on the couch crocheting as he's trying to watch TV or whatever you can actually hear the stitch it squeaks a little bit as you go through the stitches and that's for me one of the one of the downfalls to this hook so I'm actually gonna I'm not gonna say anything for a couple of stitches and I'm gonna see if the microphone will actually pick it up I hope it does So there you go. I'm not sure if you were able to pick up any of that noise, but that's something to keep in mind when contemplating making a purchase of these crochet light hooks. So if you're ready to make your investment on these hooks, you're probably wondering where in the world can I get these? Because honestly, I personally have never seen these on the shelf anywhere. These have become somewhat of a you know an internet sensation and you see them on Pinterest all over the place and they're they're very popular on Amazon and you can also find them on eBay and you can also get them at some department store websites like walmart.com I've not seen them in the store but that doesn't mean some Walmarts won't carry them so it's something to keep an eye out for and if you're trying to get an idea of how much this is gonna cost you if you're just looking for a single hook and you purchase them on Amazon, it's going to run you about $6 plus shipping. If you're looking for a complete set, I found that there were some available on eBay. And this, in, this set included sizes C through K, or a 2.5 millimeter through a 6.5 millimeter. And that set was priced at $49.99. So if you're looking at a set on a luxury hook standpoint, it's somewhat comparable to the other sets that are on the market and like I said I doubt that you'll find this these are the hooks that you use on an everyday basis I like I said will pull them out if I'm using a dark yarn or if I'm crocheting in poor lighting but I typically use my clover hooks on a regular basis because I feel like they're a little bit more comfortable I'm used to them I just overall like them a little bit better but that's not to say this isn't a good hook. Like I said, it, it serves its purpose. It's a fun novelty item to have, especially if you like to collect crochet hooks like I do. If you have any experiences with these hooks, whether they be good experiences or bad experiences, 
please leave your information in the description below or in the comments because I feel like my input is just one perspective. It's just how I feel about these hooks. But for somebody who is seriously considering making this investment, it's good to see multiple sides of the story. So please share your experiences. I would absolutely love to hear them. And if you are looking to purchase some hooks in the future, like I said, I would recommend these. Probably not my first choice unless you're buying them only for their purpose, which is to illuminate the work that you are crocheting. With that, I'm going to conclude this product review of the Crochet Light Hooks. And until next time, my name is Brittany. I'm your host of Be Hooked Crochet.